I've transformed my favourite chocolate cake recipe into a beautiful blackberry and honeycomb ombre cake. So I've already made three sponges using my favourite chocolate cake recipe and I've left them to cool. So we're ready to get on to decorating the cake. So I've got some blackberry jam and blackberry syrup that I made earlier. To make these, I put some sugar into a small pan and added to it some blackberries and a little bit of water. I brought it up to a medium heat and simmered it for 15 minutes until it was thick and jam-like and then strained off the syrup and left the pulp to cool. So this is the syrup that I strained off earlier. It's got a deep purple colour. So I've got three bowls of buttercream. So I'm going to add a different amount to each bowl to create the different shades of colour in the cake. So I'm adding four teaspoons of the blackberry syrup to the first bowl, just one teaspoon to the second bowl, and I'm going to leave the third bowl white, so I'm just going to add a splash of milk to make the consistency the same. And I'm going to beat these together to make a nice, smooth icing. If you start with the lightest colour, you don't need to wash the spoon in between the different bowls. So that's the white icing ready. And this is the middle icing, so a pale pink. mix in the final icing. It's amazing how vibrant the colours are, considering you're just using blackberries to colour the icing. If the mixture starts to curdle at all, you can add a little bit of icing sugar to bring it back together again. I'm going to take the bottom layer of sponge, place it face down in the centre of the board, and then you want to spread a thin layer of white buttercream over the cake. And on top of the buttercream, we want a nice dollop of the blackberry jam that we made earlier. Get a nice even layer of that. Then repeat the white icing process. And then the remaining jam. Just neaten off any oozing jam bits from the outside. I'm going to take my white icing and put that all over the top and sides of the top layer of my cake. Then I'm going to take the pink icing and do a band around the middle layer. It doesn't matter if the icing is quite thick because you're going to be scraping most of it off later. And then once you've thickly applied the pink icing, you want to take the darkest pink icing and put it on till it's all covered. So we've applied all the different colours now. It's time to smooth over the cake to get that lovely smooth finish. Taking a large palette knife, I'm going to put it at an angle to my cake and then carefully smooth off the icing. Spoon your remaining icings together into a piping bag. It creates a nice rippled effect. And then pipe a lovely wavy border around the top of the cake. It's like a little crown sitting on top. I'm going to decorate the top of the cake using some honeycomb that I made earlier. To make this, I boiled together some caster sugar and some golden syrup for about five minutes until it was a dark golden colour. Then added bicarbonate of soda and mixed well before pouring out onto a baking sheet and leaving to set. Once it's set, you can break it into lovely little pieces like this, which I'm going to use to decorate the very top of my cake. And place a blackberry in between each one. Then I'm just going to add a few mint leaves in between each one to give a nice touch of colour. I think this honeycomb and blackberry ombre cake would be great to serve at a party. Mm -hmm.